Okay guys, so this is going to be analyzing parabolas example problem set number two. Now, um, so in the last lesson we learned that the form for a parabola when it was in vertex form was y is equal to a times x minus h quantity squared plus k, where hk was going to be your vertex. So what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to take a graph and we're going to find the equation of the parabola using a point. So, so our parabola looks like it has a vertex at the point 0, negative 5. Okay? So this is going to be x minus 0. This is going to be a minus 5 right here. Now, to solve for a, we're going to have to use a point. Uh, so looks like the point 1, negative 4 is a good point. So we're going to plug that in to solve for your a. So we're going to add 5 to the other side. So we get 1 is equal to a times 1 minus 0 squared is 1. So your a is equal to 1. So y is equal to, uh, so this is x squared minus 5. Okay x minus 0. You could write the x minus 0 if you wanted to. Now, uh, on SAT and stuff like that, it shows up to where your a isn't equal to 1, and you actually have to solve for it. So you need to make sure that uh, you know how to do that. If you're given like f of 2 is equal to 3, and you're trying to solve for a, then that's the point that you need to use, okay? Just keep that in mind. So on this one, our vertex is the point 2, 0. Okay, so we're going to do y is equal to a times x minus 2 squared plus 0. And I'm looking at my graph, and the point 3, 1 looks like it's a good point. So 1 is equal to a times 3 minus 2, 0, uh, 3 minus 2 plus 0. Okay, so 3 minus 2 is 1, and I'm going to move this over. Okay, so your a comes out to be equal to 1. Let me solve for it. Um, so this is the equation y is equal to x minus 2 squared. And if you wanted to write the 1 in front, you could write the 1 in front, just like we did on the previous problem. Okay, the next one. Looks like we've got the point 3, 2 as our vertex. Like that. Now, uh, we got to get a good point. So it looks like the point 4, 4 is a good point. So 4 is equal to a times 4 minus 3 squared plus 2. We're going to move that over so we get 2 is equal to 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay, and 1 squared is 1. So a comes out to be equal to 2. Okay, so we're going to write our parabola as y is equal to 2 times x minus 3 squared plus 2. Okay, so nothing special. You just need to identify your vertex first and then a good point. Okay, on to the next page. Now, it says find the equation of the parabola um, that has the following x-intercepts. Assume that the parabola opens up and has a is equal to 1. Okay, so when we have the x-intercepts, this is going to be like root form is what they call it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my x-intercepts and I'm going to change the sign. Remember from our quadratics uh, and factoring lesson, when we factor something, we set it equal to zero. Now, if we're going to put it in this form, we just take the x-intercept and change the sign for each one. Now, I'm going to FOIL it out. So x times x is x squared. Outer is negative 4x. Inner is 3x. And last is negative 12. Okay, so we get y is equal to x squared minus x minus 12. And our a is equal to 1. Okay. Um, next one. It says find the equation of the parabola with the following x-intercepts. We're going to assume that a is equal to a negative 1. Okay, so it's going to be the same strategy. Now watch this. I put the negative in front, and I'm going to do x plus 2 and x minus 6. I'm going to leave that negative alone until the end. Okay? So, remember, I changed the sign when I put in parentheses, and I'm going to FOIL. 
So I get x squared minus 6x plus 2x minus 12. And I'm going to distribute that negative out, and I'm going to combine my like terms. Negative 4x plus 2x is a negative 4x. I'm going to change the sign, so plus 4x and plus 12. Now, it does show up where, say you want to write a polynomial function or a parabola given the two roots. Well, this is the way you need to do it. Okay, so remember, roots is just another word for x-intercepts. Uh, find the equation of the parabola given the vertex and the point. So this is pretty much the same thing we did in the first section, uh, just no graph. Okay, so we get y is equal to a times x plus 3 quantity squared plus 2. So I'll always write it with my uh, vertex first, and then I'm going to plug in my point. So 7 is equal to a times 4 plus 3 quantity squared and uh, plus 2. So I'm going to solve for a. I'm going to subtract the 2 over to the other side. We get 5 is equal to a. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 squared is 49, so this is going to be 49a. And when I solve for a, I get 5 over 49. So my equation comes out to be 5 over 49 times x plus 3 quantity squared plus 2. Okay, nothing special about that fraction. Um, just make sure you solve the equation, right? Okay, so I have the vertex negative 2, 3. And I have the point 4, 1. So 1 is equal to a times 4 plus 2 squared plus 3. Move the 3 over, you get a negative 2. And um, just say room. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 squared is 36. Okay, 30. Uh, and if I'm going to solve for A, I get negative 1 over 18. Okay, so this is going to be Y is equal to negative 1 over 18 times X plus 2, quantity squared, plus 3. And that's my equation of my parabola. Last one. Now it says we uh, have the vertex 3, negative 1, and the y-intercept of 0, negative 8. Okay, so the y-intercept is just that point. Uh, so we're going to treat it the same exact way. x minus 3 squared minus 1. And we're going to plug in the point negative 8 for y and 0 minus 3 squared minus 1, like that. We're going to add the 1 to the other side, so we get negative 7 is equal to a times... I keep doing this. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. So a is equal to a negative 7 over 9. So the equation of this line is going to be negative 7 ninths x minus 3 squared minus 1. And that's been uh, writing parabolas in vertex form. So you should be pretty good at this. It's a good little review for SAT. Um, make sure that you always identify the vertex at a point and you plug in and solve for A. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks and have a good day.